If you guys want one-on-one -on -one training, online training, or nutritional coaching, please head on over to my website, jpfitnesspro.com. Just go to the services tab and select which one you would like. You can also subscribe to my newsletter and contact me through my website as well. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the notification bell so you never miss a video. Thanks. What is up you guys, JP here. First things first, how was your guys' weekend? Let me know how that went. My weekend was pretty good. Um, I kind of got a little sick. Um, if you guys hear me sniffle here and there, it's because I'm a little sick. Other than that, um, I was just enjoying my deload. I'm at the end of, I finished my deload last week, so that was pretty nice to take a light week. I watched the Halo Championship Series. They had a pro event in Atlanta. Um, if you guys didn't know, that's actually my favorite video game is Halo, um, my favorite video game series. So they had the uh, last pro event over in Atlanta. So I watched that over the weekend. Uh, it was really cool. So comment down below and let me know how your guys' uh, weekend went. Today's video is gonna be the beginning of a new series. Um, and it's, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to title it, but it's going to be something along the lines of a minimalist series. Um, a lot of people have excuses for why they don't work out. I mean, just to be straightforward, they're excuses. Not everyone works out, and a lot of people wish they did because they have a body they want to achieve. They have a weight loss goal they want to get to. They have a strength goal. Whatever goal it is, if it's fitness and health oriented, 99.99999% of people have one, but not everyone works out. So the whole point of this series is to give you guys uh, the minimal amount of exercises for a muscle group that you guys can do to make gains. Now, these aren't the only exercises I think that you should do for this muscle group, obviously, um, as you can see from the muscle group we're going to do today. But these are just the minimum amount of exercises that I feel like if you did, you're not going to be leaving any huge chunks out of the muscle group. And the amount of exercises that you can uh, uh, do depends on, or you, the amount of exercises that you have to do depends on uh, that muscle group. For example, I think you need more exercises for chest, not more sets, just more exercises for chest versus back, as you'll see today, and as you'll see when I do my chest video. But today's uh, muscle group for the minimalist series is going to be the back. And for the back, I think that if you are low on time and you don't like spending a lot of time in the gym or you just don't have that much time, you really only need two exercises to get a good back workout in. Again, it's not only two exercises to optimize your back workout. I do a lot more than two exercises for my back workout and I think exercise variety is good in regards to hypertrophy. But... These are the two exercises that I think that if you're running low on time or you don't like working out or whatever it is, if you do these two, you're going to be covering almost your entire base of uh, back musculature in just two exercises. The first one is going to be a neutral grip pull up. I say neutral grip because one, it, act it directly targets elbow flexion, which is going to get the bicep involved, but it also targets the brachialis, which is underneath the bicep all at the same time while it's a huge compound movement and it's obviously going to work your lats. So that's the reason why I picked the neutral grip over the chin up or the pull up uh, is because that it also hits that brachialis while it also hits you know the lats uh, as well as in any pull up exercise would. Now if your gym doesn't have a neutral grip attachment or some neutral grip, you can, the second I guess one that I would pick for if we only get two exercises would be the chin up not the pull up, it would be the chin up. Uh, personally, I like to pull up more, but if I'm only picking two, it would be the chin up second. But if you can opt for the neutral grip, I would specifically recommend you guys go with the neutral grip uh, first and foremost because of the reasons that I said. The second exercise in this minimalist workout would be the face pull. I've talked about the face pull in many other videos and you've probably seen it a bunch on YouTube. The reason why I like the face pull is just because it does so much in one exercise. It's going to hit those external rotators, it's going to hit your traps, and it's going to hit your rhomboids and rear delts and your biceps all in one exercise. It's a compound movement. It just has so many things going for it. It'd be, uh, it'd be something hard to argue to not include it in any workout, even with a lot of exercises. But if we can only pick two, that would be the second exercise that I would pick. Now, there are a lot of other good exercises, but again, those two, if you're only aiming for a minimalist workout, 
Um, those are the two that I would pick. I might do another uh, video for back as well to include another minimalist back uh, workout. For example, if you're someone who works back twice a week. So if you work back twice a week, you don't need to do this minimalist workout again. You could do uh, a second one. I might come up with a second one. But for one workout, if, I only if you only had one workout, or if you want this to be one of your workouts, again, neutral grip pull-up and then the face pull, those things pretty much cover the entire upper back and lats, and you're gonna get some bicep, bicep recruitment in there. If you guys have any questions, comments, please post them down below. If you guys want me to do a specific muscle group next for this minimalist series, uh, let me know down below as well. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.